Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do like a little unpack with me because obviously I was going to do a pack with me but I was so last minute with everything I could not get that done so I was like you know I'm just going to do an unpack with me when I get to the hotel so I am here so me and Salwa are in Morocco for her birthday it's actually her birthday today so it's like happy birthday Salwa yes guys I'm not a shit friend I'm like sitting here like recording a YouTube video on my friend's birthday I got ready at 4 guys because I wanted to do this video today so I was like now I'm going to get ready at 4 so everyone is like getting ready and I was just like you know I'm just going to quickly do an unpack with me so I can obviously prep my outfits for the week so uh, we're here for 4 days tonight we're going to go out for dinner for someone's birthday dinner and then tomorrow we're going out for quad biking and we're going to the mountains we also have a day we trip to the waterfall and then we've got two free days where we're going to kind of just like freelance everything so we're thinking of going into the town into the city and just like see the local stuff shop a little bit and all of that stuff and then one of the other days we we're thinking of maybe going out to check out this place what's it called again Nikki Beach. Nikki Beach, that's it. Obviously, I'm doing an unpack with me right now with you guys. And then what I'm going to do is that for the activity days, I'm going to do a separate vlog which kind of details kind of like which activities we did, how we did them, how much it was, try for all those little bits. So obviously, if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. This is kind of like my first holiday as a full-time content creator or as a content creator, to be honest. Last time I'm on holiday was like two years ago. So I'm so excited. I literally like obviously looked at... Morocco TikToks, which most people would do these days before they travel. And obviously, the Marrakesh Morocco vibe is deserty and red, that kind of like Arab nice type of vibe. So I wanted to make sure like my outfits complement that. So I've got most of the stuff that I've got here are gonna be around the same color family. Just kind of like those dusty reds, orange, browns, do you know what I'm saying? When we're driving from the airport to here, like all the buildings are like red and stuff. I was like, I am so glad I got these outfits because they're gonna look so bomb with like the same aesthetic of the country, basically. And I honestly recommend that if you're traveling anywhere that you should probably like, really work on a mood board i'll show you guys my mood board that I created right here work on a mood board work on a color palette and try to make sure your outfits match the atmosphere because honestly guys you can get the best content that way i'm going to try to make sure everything that i show you today i'll link it down below so make sure you check it out but yeah so the first dress i want to talk you through is this dress it is an orange dress from revolve i love this dress guys i literally wanted this dress just because like i explained about the color palette and also because i had this vision of like having this dress like wearing it to the waterfall and then taking a picture like from the back like this because it's very flowy and i thought i was doing something with the dresses flowy and the waterfall flows <laughs> I don't know, the river flows. Anyways, I just think it's gonna be such a cute picture with this orange dress. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It fits really well as well, and like it's really like nice and like feminine as well. And you know, I'm entering my feminine era and I wanna make sure I'm like showing that off in all my outfits. It is time to grow up. The next dress I have for you guys is this dress from Cider. And oh, you know what? I'm gonna put it on for you guys. I'm gonna put it on for you guys. Forget it, I'm gonna put it on. This is the next dress. I got this from Cider. And honestly guys, I had not come across Cider until I literally remember searching up like, I searched up something specific to match kind of the vibe of Morocco. And Cider had a lot of dresses that matched it. I forgot exactly what I like searched up, but it was really cool. And I got this dress, to be honest, I got a couple other dresses, but they didn't fit as well. So the reason I decided to bring this along on this holiday is because it actually fits really well. Like it's such a perfect fit. Wait for the best part. Wait for the best part. I'm obsessed with this part, wait. <laughs> like a Laurie Harvey moment, do you know what I mean? Basically this outfit, I got it for when we go to the desert. Because do you know what it is? I thought the Sahara Desert was in Marrakesh, but it turns out that it's actually seven hours from here. So we're not going to be going to the Sahara Desert. So we're going to be going up to another local desert that they've got here. But I thought this would be such a nice outfit for then because we have dinner in the desert. So this would be what I'll wear. But during the day, we're also doing quads. So I've also got an outfit for the quad biking. And then I'll change into this for the dinner, basically. But yeah, so this dress, I got it in size extra small, I believe. And we signed up because obviously it was like Christmas as well. It took a while to get to me. It took about two weeks to get to me. But what I liked is that they had a returns office in the UK. So it's like free returns. So there was no pressure or anxiety of like, oh my gosh, what if I try, try this outfit and I don't like them? Like I said, it was a new shop to me. So 
I felt quite confident to order from them knowing that I can just return the outfits if they don't fit. So yeah, this was one of the dresses that I was absolutely in love with. They've even got like a little slit here. I don't know if you can see the slit, but they've got a slit there which just makes so much sense for the vibe I'm trying to go for. But yeah, so on to the next outfit. Guys, you see this dress? I've actually saved this dress for like a couple of weeks now. I've had it since like November, but I was just like, I'm gonna wait for the perfect moment to basically wear it. And I'm like, look at it. And I can't think of a better time to wear it than on this trip. <laughs> Again, keep in mind the color palette guys, cause I'm still following it. So even though this is a pink, it is a family, it's part of the red family. Do you can say it? And it's still kind of like that, like kind of like that neutral baby pink and it fits really nicely with the atmosphere as well i love the arms literally when i say it, i've had this dress for time and i've literally got matching shoes for it but i was like i'm going to wait for the perfect time because i was so in love with it like it's obviously like very out of august kind of like usual Busy. stuff it's out of august the usual stuff but i've decided in this new year i want to wear everything that's out of my usual stuff i don't want to just i feel like i've been content creating for about two years now and it's getting to a space where it's like i want to grow like i'm growing in my personal life so i feel like i want that to also reflect in the way that i dress and the way that i take my pictures hence why i've been doing all of these little changes because i'm really excited to kind of just start showing a different part to my journey and also saying that hi guys i'm 24 now probably well 23 24 soon 10 months pretty soon to be honest and i just want to make sure that i want to make sure that's also reflecting the way that i dress that's why i'm kind of like stepping out of my comfort zone trying on different things but yeah so this dress is from mesh kit i've got an extra small or size six it's got this open back that i'm obsessed with and i've got matching shoes for it so i'm going to show it to you in a second these are the matching shoes as well to go with the dress basically they're like a kind of like a shade of pink as well and so basically when I, what I had in mind for this dress was kind of like a dinner, fancy, dine with me kind of vibe. So today when we go out for the dinner, this is probably the dress I'm going to wear. Originally I planned to wear a different dress, but just putting it on right now, I just feel like it makes sense. If, I feel like it makes sense. But anyways, on to the next outfit. I just remember, as I said earlier, that um, I haven't traveled in years. Like I think the last time I traveled was on my 21st birthday. And obviously the, one of the reasons I did travel was because obviously I had uni and work, I wanted to get that out of the way. But during the time um, of 2022, at some point, I really started getting holiday blues. So I started buying outfits for the holiday that will one day happen. Do you know what I mean? So um, basically this is one of the outfits that I got like early, This I got it in summer from Lux to Kill. Um, yeah, and I was like, I'm going to put it in my power for one day I'm going to wear when I go on holiday. And that day has come, and it happens to be the perfect color for my color palette. Part of the brown family, part of the cream family, part of the red family. Do you get, guys, I hope what I'm saying is making sense. It's not just like me waffling, but do you understand how all these clothes that I'm wearing kind of just complement each other? Every single dress, they complement each other, they complement the atmosphere. But this 2% of the hand, guys, I really love it. It's really sexy, and like, look at this little slit here. I have not thought far to when I'm going to wear it, but like I said, I did bring quite a lot of outfits. It's not like I'm going to wear every single one of them, but I've got like a night and day outfit for every single time. So this was kind of my, more my day outfit. It's one of my day outfits. So maybe if we go on one of our free days, if we go to the mountain, I'm not about the market. Maybe if we go like to the mountains or something like that, basically, or just like, you know, to chew around the hotel, get breakfast around the hotel and stuff like that. I feel like this will be one of the outfits that I wear. But yeah, I really love this. I love the little slit as well. And it fits really nicely, guys. Huh. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get into the next outfit. You see this one? I'm like, oh. just give it a moment for the dress, please. A moment for this outfit, because it deserves everything and more. Do you guys see that? Do you see that? So this is kind of the, one of the only outfits that were a little bit out of the color, color wheel that I was working with. But I was just so obsessed, guys. I was so obsessed. I was like, I cannot leave this in England because I'm going to be so annoyed. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to wear it, but I did bring it along because I did like it. And I feel like it would make such a really nice like evening wear outfit. And oh, by the way, it is a two piece. So it comes with this top and then it comes with this skirt. It is the sexiest thing I've ever seen. The sexiest thing I've seen today. I'm like, 
obsessed but I'm obsessed with a lot of things so it's one of those things but I'm totally gonna get a picture of this I love this guys I swear to god yeah Revolve never disappoints me like it never disappoints me one fits really really well I got something extra small um, from their brand called so it's from their brand called Michael Costolo, Costolo, so that's it, Costolio, Costolio, that's it, Michael Costolio, so this brand, I actually got quite a lot of outfits from them, and they have like really nice evening wear outfits, so this is one of them from there, and I'm honestly like so obsessed with this outfit, it just shapes really nicely, that's why I had to come along, because you know, I just love this one so much, I didn't care about the colour palette, I had to bring it along, I feel like, because obviously, I was supposed to do a Thailand trip, so I'm, I am supposed to do a Thailand trip at some point this year, and I think this would look really nice in Thailand, but I brought it with me in case if I want to wear it because I don't want to like want to wear it and then not have it. Do you get what I'm saying? That's just going to really upset me. So that's why I brought it along with me. But anyways, um, we're going to go into the next outfit. So I've actually worn this in one of the outfit holes that I've done for Revolve, but I had to bring this along. Like, tell me something says Arab Nights without telling me something says Arab Nights. Tell me something says Morocco without telling you something says Morocco. I even love this roses because I feel like this print is in a lot of like like Moroccan traditional outfits I've seen, kind of like this colour tone anyways. And I just thought it would match really well with the atmosphere again. But I really love this dress guys. It is so cute. It's from Revolve. I got it in size extra small and I will link it down below as well so that you guys can see it. But I had to bring it along. I actually want to take a picture in this and I was thinking of doing like on the bed maybe if I get a picture, I'm gonna insert the picture to see which picture I actually got in it. But like, yeah, I really love this dress and I can't wear this in London right now because it's so cold. So I had to be on holiday. But now I'm feeling the pressure to book another holiday because I've got too many outfits for this holiday. And this outfits need to be worn. You know, that's life. I can't go back, I can't have these outfits for any longer than another month. So I might need to book another holiday just so I can wear these outfits. Yeah, still in my life. <laughs> Originally, I wanted to wear this outfit tonight but um, obviously I showed you the other outfit that I'm really feeling, so I might wear that instead. This is kind of just like a long white dress with a slit, it is sexy and slick, of course. And yeah, I just thought this would be really cool for like a late night dinner vibe, you know? But like I said, it's also quite cold. So I feel like with her back like this and no sleeves, I might just be freezing. I might just freeze. Oh my gosh guys, so I got this from Revolve as well and I got this most, the most beautiful necklace to go with it. Give me a minute, let me get it. Honestly guys, I don't think you're ready for this necklace. It is gorgeous. It is like a statement piece, honestly. So it's from Dundas X Revolve. I've actually had a lot of like jackets from them. I feel like they're really like edgy. So I've got like a trench coat from them. I've got this big fur coat from them. Pieces are just really like edgy and like really like statement pieces, literally. I'll see if I can show you my other jacket that I've got from them here. It's like this big fur coat print from them. So I was like, yes, yeah. so I was like, I have to, I have to get this necklace as well, just because I felt like it would be the perfect, perfect accessory for this type of dress anyways. So this is how the necklace looks. It is a green snake. <laughs> but um, I thought it would look really bomb. Let's put it on like this with this dress like this I don't know what do you guys think and I've got a green bag to match with it as well but yeah so I'm not sure when I'm gonna wear this I might wear it on one of the nights where we're having dinner in the hotel so that obviously like it's white and it's open so I'm not cold but I can't wait to wear this dress as well and just get like a really sexy picture in it but yeah um unfortunately guys i have to just like cut this try and hold a little bit short i do have more outfits and next time i'm gonna try to be better prepared rather than doing an unpack with me i might try to do a pack with me so you guys can see my thought process and my decision making and stuff on all my outfits but yeah so this is the outfit done i hope you guys liked this try and haul but yeah, so guys, that's the summary from, obviously, the vlog in Morocco. I hope you really enjoyed it, and 
I hope to see you guys soon again especially this year I really want to do a lot of travel content and I'm hoping that I can actually push a lot of those for you so the first country this year on my list was Morocco and we're ticking that off I've got a couple other countries that I really wanted to do in January but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do all of them because in the first two weeks of January I wasn't feeling too great so I actually had to cancel a lot of my trips so I'm hoping in the next coming months I'll be able to kind of just like take you guys along with me uh show you kind of how I plan and prep for my outfits and give you some just kind of like some travel tips when it comes to fashion and what to wear and stuff like that so i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and make sure you like comment and subscribe and let me know what you think and guys make sure you comment on this new quality because i am obsessed Duh. i do this i do i love you guys so much and i will invest everything in you guys so i'm hoping this quality is a good investment and you guys get to really experience and really like embrace the colors and the quality of clothes and details and stuff like that but yeah thank you so much for tuning in and love you all take care Mwah.